What is good, everybody? It is your boy, Pat the Designer, back at it again. I want to talk about five keys for the Chicago Bears to win the NFC North. Let's talk about it right after this. All one, all two, all three. Stop it! You do not do it like that! Mercy! Did you not get the memo? All right, so if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page because we do talk Chicago sports weekly, and we don't want you to miss a thing, so make sure that you hit that bell. Now, as I said, I have five keys that I believe are uh, pretty important for the Chicago Bears to win the NFC North this season. Now, does that mean there aren't more things that the Bears will have to do? Probably. I think the Bears are going to have a little bit of an uphill battle this season, but I think that if they do at least these five things... They can start their season off in the right direction towards winning the NFC North. Number five on my list, start Nick Foles. And I know the, the Trubisky truthers are coming out saying that you got to give Mitch a shot. You got to give Mitch a fair shake. And I think that there's still an opportunity for Mitch to win this job, but he has to be amazing from the Zoom meetings to training camp to preseason. Like you have to see stuff from Mitchell Trubisky that you're like, oh my God, this guy's the second coming. Otherwise, you have to start Nick Foles, and I'll tell you why. Uh, as much as we want to rag on Nick Foles, he is the ultimate backup. I'm not saying he's not, but I do believe that Nick Foles comes into a team that has a Super Bowl ready defense and you just need your offense to be competent. Nick Foles can accomplish that for you, I think, better than Mitch Trubisky can. And this is in the beginning of the season. You don't want to be losing games because towards the end of the season, your your schedule gets twice as hard. So I think give yourself the best opportunity, put in your Super Bowl MVP, put in the, the guy that t led a team to a Super Bowl, a Super Bowl champion, and a lot Allow him to run this offense right off the bat. I think that gives you the best opportunity, at least this season, to win the NFC North and start your season off with some wins. Now, before I continue with the video, I would like to know your thoughts. What do you think the keys are for the Chicago Bears to win the NFC North this year? Let me know in the comments below. The next key for me is establish what your offensive line strengths are early. And whatever those strengths are, you make that the focus of this team. Now, if the offensive line is better at the run, go with the run. I'm not saying go run heavy. You still want to run that balanced offense, but go with what this line does best because this offensive line is going to be a big key in your success throughout the entire season. We've talked about it all off season. We've talked about how the Bears needed to improve it. They made a few moves that possibly get you moving in the right direction, but I don't know if we if we believe that they're, they're game-changing moves. You know what I'm saying? So I think that you have to identify what this offensive line does well and make that the focus of your team. Now, if it is the pass, if all of a sudden, you know, Know, Mitch Trubisky or Nick Foles is slinging it in there you know what I'm saying go with the pass go pass first but I think that you have to identify what works for these guys and continue to ride with them we have to see early on the improvements in this offensive line we have to see the improvements in, in what they can do best and we have to identify those and, and attack teams with those early on if we're going to be successful. Now, number three on the list is emphasis on a balanced offense. Now, I think we saw last year super pass heavy, right? Super pass heavy. But when the Bears won games was when David Montgomery was getting over 50 yards in a game. So you want to make sure that you're getting him involved. And we've, like I said, we've talked about this all offseason. We've talked about how the run game pretty much was non-existent. That can't happen this year. If that happens this year, we're going to see a worse repeat of last year. I don't even think the Bears would be able to go 8-8 eight and eight if, they, if they went one side of the ball, just went pass heavy. Because listen, as much as we want it to be the Kansas City Chiefs offense, it just isn't. I'm sorry. I, I, I would love for it to be. I'd love to see that in this offense, but it just isn't right now we don't have the weapons so i think that the chicago bears need to as i said figure out what the line does best and make that the focus of this team but make sure that it's balanced just because okay the, the line is, is better at the run than the pass or the line is better at the pass than the run don't go too heavy one way
way because it makes you predictable. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to become predictable. I think that that's the biggest thing last season. The Bears were super predictable in their offense. They were super predictable in the run, super predictable in the pass. And so there was never a question of what you were lining up to see. So I think that if they're able to, to, to figure out what they do best, but then continue to keep it in balance, that this team could be a different level and that they could really, really take over some games early and allow that defense to really just pin its ears back and attack. Now the next key for me, play through your defense. And what I mean by that is, understand that this is a Super Bowl defense. This is a Super Bowl caliber defense. So you need to look at this defense as these guys are the guys who are going to get us to the promised land. Let's not screw things up. Now, do I want to see the offense play better? Absolutely. But I'm not sure what offense we're getting. I think that this offense can, le can meet league average in scoring, and that would be at the high end of the expectations to me. And so listen, try your best to keep them off the field for longer than four plays. You know what I'm saying? Just, just try to make the, the plays take as much time as possible and, and, and let them lead you to the Super Bowl. Because I think we all believe that they can do it we all believe that they're the key now it, do you want the offense to be stagnant absolutely not but i think that if you are able to simply move the ball i think that honestly if you give this defense a chance to rest in between drives even if you're coming away with three now you want to come away with seven but if you give this defense a chance and you're going on long drives then this defense can be the best defense in the nfl like with, with Robert Quinn on one side, Khalil Mack on the other, Akeem Hicks in the middle, Roquan Smith, I will always say there are so many names on this team. We just added Jalen Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. So I think that this defense can be one of the best defenses in the NFL. And you have to try your best to allow them to lead you to the promised land. Now, does that mean that there's probably going to be a lot of ugly games this season where the Bears win it 20 to 17, you know, 24, 21, you know, probably more than likely that's what I expect to see this season. But I'm okay with that as long as it's a W at the end. If the Bears offense be can become that gritty, beat you up, ground and pound, but still have a little bit of an aerial attack kind of offense, here we go. Now we're on our way to winning the NFC North. And the final key for me, don't go away from what works for the team to make it fit your scheme. I think we saw that last year, right? We saw that when this team had its best success was when they were in the I formation and David Montgomery was getting an opportunity to blow these guys up in front of them. And that offensive line was getting the opportunity to just hit the guys in front of them and try to move those guys out of the way. That's when they were best. But the Bears didn't want to go with that because they wanted to have that pass offense. And Matt Nagy said in a post-game interview, I didn't come here to run the eye. I'm fine with that. But you have to understand that the team that you have these are this is what they're good at this is what they can do this is what makes them successful and when we do this we tend to win games i understand a put, implementing your scheme but you can't put the scheme over what the team does to get it to successes and so i think that we saw a little bit too much of that last season and honestly from what i've heard from matt Nagy this offseason it seems like he learned a lot from last season learned a lot from the turmoil that they went through last season and that there's going to be some of those changes where it's like all right well listen we don't got it right now the quarterback position david montgomery we're gonna we're gonna put you out there we're gonna give you that opportunity so i like i like what i'm hearing from matt i think that the bears can do a lot of good things this season and i think that they can win this division i think that the packers are going to be an interesting rival but i think that they're the toughest competition in this division and they're playing a first place schedule but these are the things that i believe the chicago bears need to do right off the bat to come away after 2020 as nfc north division champs i I want to know how you feel let me know in the comments below i'll be down there debating with all of you as always it is your boy pat the designer back at it again and if you want to continue watching our content click the video links here y'all stay safe out there chicago peace